I think the cows are back. I hear some cow bells. Uh, the cows have been coming down, haven't had them, but the last this last time they all had cow bells on, which is kind of interesting for free range cows. I see them over there. They must be trying to figure out how to come over. There's one hiding in the brush right there. Well, we're working on getting grass seed spread. Getting a little peat moss over the top. I got some nice glove lines there. Uh, just getting grass seed spread after we got everything excavated to uh, make it uh, nice and as smooth as possible. And uh, be nice to mow instead of having to weed eat everything, which will be awesome. Looks like our cows are back over here by the edge of the property. Uh, they haven't made it in yet. I'm gonna run another section of cross fence in a, another spot where they might be getting down. So, see if we can keep these guys out this year. That'd be nice. Cause that big old cow does a lot of damage. Alrighty, we're tied in. Start working our way down the line, stringing up some barbed wire. I'm gonna use the tractor to help pull some tension on these lines to get this uh, run we've been doing finished up. All right, we're simply doing a splice here. Got the, our line cut a little long. Gonna make some loops on both sides and wind it back on itself there. All right, now I'm just gonna wedge this in there. When this spins around, these should catch. And then that board will help kind of wedge it in. So we'll uh, go ahead and fire up the tractor. Well, I missed the mark on that one, so we'll just go this way. <laughs> Thought he had it on there, wouldn't pay attention. As long as it's on there. All right, we'll just move down the line, tighten them while there's tension on it. All right, so this is a fencing staple. We're gonna tack a couple of those in there while there's tension on there, cut it, and then fold it back across. Just like that one. All right, so fencing pliers have a lot of uh, functions to them. You got pliers on the end for gripping and pulling staples and such and twisting wire you got cutters right there and you got uh, kind of pliers right there too and you've got this little shoehorn on the end when you grip a staple and you rock down it's going to pull it out so fencing pliers are pretty good uh, tools to handle if you're doing any kind of wire fencing like this All right, on to the next one. All right, getting things set up here for the gate. Um, just making sure that I've got one of these pointing down, one pointing up, that way you can't just lift the gate off. Uh, and I'll just use one of these for 
for tightening stuff. Yeah, you know, it's a for going on building the wood gate, obviously, but um, works great for tightening these down. Well, I don't know if the changes I made to the fence would be enough to keep them out or not, but I guess we'll find out.